Hello everyone, my name is Abdiyadi Kurniawan from Faculty of Engineering of Sanggabuana University, Bandung. On this occasion, I will review an international journal with the title Insomnia Analysis Based on Internet of Things Using Electrocardiography and Electromyography. This research was made by Novi Azman, Muhammad Kanafi, and friend from Faculty of Technology Maklumat and Communication Universitas Technical Malaysia Malaka. This presentation is divided into five sections: introduction, research method, result and analysis, conclusion, and recommendation. Okay, here we go. Introduction. I begin by sleep disorder. Sleep is a mandatory requirement that human need and affect human health. Poor sleep quality can result in sleep disorder that have a direct and indirect impact on daily activities. There is a tendency that patients who have sleep disorder are more prone to suffer from chronic diseases. Next, insomnia. The most common sleep diseases is insomnia. Insomnia is a sleep disorder that is often overlooked and missed with a prevalence of about 1 in 3 subjects in the study that has a sleep disorder insomnia. Prevalence of people with chronic insomnia has increased significantly in the urban area. Next, polysomnography. Polysomnography is the gold standard to measurement and collection of those factors for the sleep study. However, Due to the runtime of clinical assessment, the polysomnography is impartial and limited to bias in the, a specific place. A proposed actigraph called BIOS to increase accuracy and mobility from polysomnography for sleep pattern main sherman. Okay, and the last point on introduction is biomedical sensor with Internet of Things. The contribution of our study is to provide a new system approach to diagnose insomnia sleep disorders. By using some biomedical sensors from polysomnography device, electrocardiography, electrocomiography, and by applying the concept of the Internet of Things that is used so that diagnosis can be done anywhere by sending data to the medical center. In this study, it is expected to reduce the cost and time of patient compared to the way the diagnosis of the conventional insomnia sleep disorder nowadays. And now, we discuss about research method. This section will explain how the system grid can be useful to perform function such as the objective stage in the introduction. Overall, the system in, the, in this study is divided into four major parts. Hardware. The hardware part involved in the system in the study conducted in this paper involves several hardware devices. The hardware made compact so that it makes it easy for the hardware to move from one location to another. In the figure, we can see that we can group them into four parts. The part is microcontroller and shield, medical sensor, interface, and supply. In the microcontroller and shield section, the ESP32 microcontroller hardware used at the central control of the hardware. The capability of ESP32 using Extensa LX6 microprocessor and 448KB. ROM and 520 SRAM, also with built-in Wi-Fi, connectivity, and Bluetooth. Shield made for ESP32 microcontrollers are custom made that is used to connect them to sensor. Rejection sharp to receive data from sensor and send data to the server using internet connectivity. In the medical sensor section, there are two medical sensors, namely electrocardiography and electromyography sensor. 
for sensor that record heart activity, the AD8232. Electrocardiography medical sensor use. Meanwhile, to record the activity of the bodies, movement use electromyography medical sensor from Vitalino. Vitalino is one of the medical sensor used to carry out physiological computing. The placement of electrocardiography medical sensor is using three lead, which is in an oven. Triangle placement and electromyography medical sensor is located at thorax, abdomen, and each of leg. The interface part displays the status of the hardware system in the system used in this study, LCD5110, used as a hardware component whose job is to display the status of the hardware system. The supply section is responsibility for providing power for the entry hardware system, and a lipo battery is asked to deliver and distribute power. And now software embedded. Software embedded in the hardware system is carried out using the Arduino IDE program. The process flow is shown in figure. It can seem that at the beginning of the initial, the program is calling the library from the sensor, declaring Wi-Fi profiles, server address, and other global variables. Arduino IDE setting the boot rate speed of 115 to 00 bits per second to download the program on the ESP32 microcontroller and logging the process that occur. Next is to connect to a Wi-Fi network if the ESP32 microcontroller is not connecting to a Wi-Fi network, it will be reconnecting. If it is successfully connecting to a Wi-Fi network, continuous data reading is performing on the void loop. Function on the Arduino programming, patient vital data reading are from electrocardiography and electromyography sensor with float data tips. After the data obtained, then try to connect to the server. If it is not connected, it will read the patient vital data and reconnect with the server. If it is connected, the patient vital data will convert into a form of data string which is carried out for sending data to the server using the POS. Method from REST, Representational Stage Transfer, AP, Application Program Interface. Reported on the server side, the process of the loop function will repeat until it doesn't get power back. And now, communication. The process in figure starts from the initiation of the user and the website host to log in to the database. Data received through the request method in race API will then storage in each table in the MySQL database that is set depending on the type of sensor type used by using the insert command in the database. Furthermore, using the API for each table by talking data from the database which convert into the JSON format. In figure, to explain how the patient data flow is taken from the database preparing the data used to be the JSON format. First, initiating website user and host who then log in to the database on the website service, retrieve data from each sensor table from the database using the get command on MySQL. After the patient data took, then the next step sort the data according to needs and makes an array of patient data lines. Next is to convert the data array grid previously into data in the form of the JSON format. And now, insomnia classification. The process of testing the data with the first artificial neural networks aim to compare the patient cardiac activity test, data obtained from electrocardiography sensor with training data from medical device.
The second process is to test data with artificial neural networks that compare the patient movement data during sleep condition from electromyography sensor with data from medical device. The predicted output is the result of comparison with actual output. If the predicted output approaches the value of one of the actual outputs with the smaller error value, then it can be concluded that the predicted output is classifying according to specific condition. These two processes are shown in figure. The process of comparing data using artificial network are shown in figure A. Furthermore, the last process is to classify insomnia. Insomnia classification differs from to combine it data between the predicted output from ECG and EMG. Data compared with actual output from medical data. If the result obtained from patient approach one of the values of the actual output with the smallest error value, then the conclusion of the measured patient data can be included in the classification according to the specific condition. The process in the classification show in figure B. And now we discuss about result and analysis. First, activities of sending data. We can see in the table a comparison of data with varying signal strength data sent from the ESP32 microcontroller which has been set up by sending to data per second, 7 to 0, 0 data per hour, with the condition that the stage signal strength range from minus 81 dBm to minus 106 dBm. Delivery time start from 30 minutes to 120 minutes. It is seen that the accuracy of the signal transmission reach 100% at the signal strength of minus 81 dBm, minus 89 dBm, and minus 87 dBm, while the signal strength of minus 108 dBm has an accuracy of sending data above 97%. From this data shows that the quality of internet connectivity use must be stable. And next, insomnia classification. Data storage on the server in addition to visualization by making dynamic charts, also the data is useful for classifying insomnia. By using artificial intelligence through artificial neural networks, method performed on the server. Patient data will be test data and compared with training data derived from very field medical device data. Training data used to train training data where the training data use is data from medical device. Later the training data will go through a training process until correction to the agreed and expanded output values are recharged. The value of training used in 350, where the value of this training has the smallest error of the whole test. These results are shown in table. ECG analysis is shown in figure. It's a conclusion from the result of the analysis of patient build signal data using the BioSpy library. Graphs are filtered, analyzed for cardiac activity and revive you with the PQR ST signal pattern displayed in the template image column. This table is the result of testing data from the device used in this study, namely the electrocardiography sensor which compares with medical training data. Actual output is the result of the training from the expanded output. The predicted output of the device used in this study is compared with 
the actual output to find the closest data with the smallest error in one of the target's values. The range of actual output values of 15 to 65 is insomnia sufferers, while in the range of 35 to 45 is insomnia sufferers. The result obtained that there are 4 out of the 10 test data class field are suffering from insomnia sleep disorder. Error of this classification that occur between 0.2% to 2.7%. Error mean difference between actual output and predicted output. Other study using deep learning to classification of insomnia using sleep stage was get accretion 92% and 86%, which is our approach seems promising to classification insomnia patient. One of the results of insomnia classification using artificial neural network show in figure. And conclusion is with this result, the diagnosis of insomnia using our system in this study can provide a solution to make a remote insomnia diagnosis that is more cost-effective and less time-consuming. And last, recommendation for this research is The effectiveness of sending data needs to be examined further because in some cases in remote location, signal strains may be worse than in urban location. For further studies, it is recommended to us other biomedical sensors that are more complete and more equal than the gold standard for testing insomnia such as adding medical sensor EEG, EOG, and other medical sensors that can equal specification with polymography device. Okay, this is my presentation and sorry for any mistakes. Thank you.